the antenna that we're going to make today is really cheap also this antenna will do from 160 meters to 6 meters you will obviously need a tuner and you will need an unknown about 1.7 meters of pipe of about 42 to 50 millimeter diameter and you will need one you will need six uh, call it 40 centimeter long cable ties and then lastly you will need about 10 to 17 meters of speaker wire or if you want to spend the money you can get copper wire and that's all you need how do we make this antenna? So that's the PVC pipe. 50 millimeter diameter, but it can be anything from 42 to 50 millimeter diameter. The pipe is 1.70 meters long. The way you make it is you put 67 turns sixty seven turns of wire so you then cable tie it at the top and you'll cable tie it over there you then bring a straight piece of wire down and from there to there is three hundred and sixty millimeters and then you've got 22 turns then you measure 820 millimeters and now you've been winding the same way the whole time so I wound mine anti-clockwise but it makes absolutely no difference and then from here I've got three turns so there's three turns and then I'll take it off so that will then go to the unknown and that's one to nine and then I've got a counterpoise on earth and that's going to be about two meters long that it could be 1.5 to 2 meters you could make it longer the first one I had was 10 meters long so it doesn't really make any difference and that's all and then on here you've got your SO239 and you've got your coax that goes to your tuner I'll move that along so you've got your tuner and that goes to your radio quite important that over here you put a choke Sorry, this isn't my best artwork today, but um, it's what it is. So you've got 67 turns of wire, then a straight piece for 360 mil. Then you've got 22 turns. Then you've got 820 mil and three turns in the 820 mil. And then you connect that end of the wire to the unknown. 
and then you have a counterpoise of approximately two meters, which is the earth of the Anan. Your coax or the choke, your tuner, and then your tuner to your radio. So when we tested it, I know because of the frequency of the display, it was flashing a little bit, but we started off at 80 meters. I did 160 as the bonus, but we started at 80 meters and then we went from 80 to 60 to 40. Uh, to 20, then we went to 18, 15, 12, 10, 6, and on most of them, the SWR was under 1.2, it was really close to 1.1 on most, on 10, so 28 megs, it was about 2.55, but that was the highest SWR. Six meters, it was fine. Then for the coup de gras, I tried 160 meters and SWR less than uh, two to one. So this cheap antenna will do the whole range. Keep in mind, this is not a DX antenna. You might work DX, that's not the purpose. This is to talk to your buddies around the block, around the suburb, around the area, around the province. Um, it's not a DX antenna. It's short, so it might be, it'll work, but it's not, doesn't have the, well, it's not going to generally work DX. But it's perfect for old age homes, retirement villages, small gardens, homeowner association that are full of nonsense, or anything like that. And it's going to cost you the price of an unknown. So for under 100 bucks, you've got an antenna that does from 160 every band right through. So I think that's phenomenal. Anyway, if you build one, let me know and tell me what you think. I'm on my way to the workshop. <clears throat> and today I'm going to build... Uh, it's an HF antenna that I've built before and 1.72 meters long. It does most of the HF bands. It's really ideal for local QSOs. It's not a DX antenna, but it works really well for what it's meant for. And we're gonna build one together and you can see what you can do for very little money. Uh, you can build it basically for the price of a, of a Anan. The rest is scrap. I got most of the materials from a scrapyard and some of the stuff I had. Anyway, I will show you when we get to the workshop. Alright, so we're going to build this HF antenna and what do you need? There's two versions. One would be really cheap and the other version would be cheap, not really cheap, but cheap. So you need 1.7 meter long piece of PVC pipe with the outside diameter of about 41 millimeters. Uh, mine is not 100% like that, but that works. If you want to spend a few bucks, you can buy these clamps and these are ideal to hold the pipe on to a, a mount but we'll build it together and then you can see how it goes I always use the little ATU 100 to test it because that's the cheapest tuner that you can get and if that tunes it it'll be fine um, they recommend or suggest that it'll work from f uh, 7 megs 40, uh, 40 meters up to 10 but the one I tested worked all the way from 160 so I'll show you my finished version. <coughs> so this is the finished version. It almost looks like the Australian didgeridoo. And the heat shrink I put over it, I bought uh, basically the battery heat shrink. The heat shrink that they put over battery packs. 
because um, that was the cheapest I could find and the exercise was to make the cheapest possible antenna if I go and buy heat shrink uh, this the adhesive the one with the glue on the inside it's gonna cost me about 40 to 50 dollars uh, this was five so this entire antenna cost me with the clamps um, excluding the anon maybe fifteen dollars twenty dollars and with the anon for under a hundred bucks you've got a HF antenna that you've built and that works again the idea because it's only 1.7 long it's not a DX antenna although you might be lucky to work DX um, it's meant to talk around the block talk to somebody down the road you can talk on all the bands and it's easy the other very nice thing about this antenna is it works remarkably well if you're in a, a place with limited space so you're in a retirement village or you've got a small unit and the body corporate or homeowners association say no antennas having this in the garden on a little tripod no one's even going to see it and if you wanted to at night you could just lift it up above the house again no one would see it and you can talk and of course i've got coffee and uh talking about coffee i think i mentioned it in the previous video i do probably eight cups a day minimum on a bad day probably equivalent of 16. uh yeah anyway cheers to another coffee and that's all black no sugar no milk so it's not too fattening anyway i'm gonna go and get the pipe and get the wire and we're gonna get started this one is 50 mil they recommend 41 but i got this for free so that's what we're going to work with i'm going to cut off a one point uh what do they say 1.7 meter long piece of pipe So what I'm doing now is working out if this wire is going to be long enough. So if you just count, so without having to take it out and find it's wrong, if you just measure the diameter, which in this case is, call it 12 centimeters, and then you can use pi and work it out. So we'll do that quickly. 2, 4, 6, 48, 50. 52-54 I've got 20 meters of wire here and I will have a counterpoise of about 4 meters so we start right at the top so I'm going to put that right at the top and I'm going to put a cable tie around okay then we need 67 turns so we're we going to wind this So now I've just got to count the windings and see it's correct. We are down to 67. So I'll take another cable tie. Once you're finished, you could always do this with resin or something like that if you wanted to try it. So to show you, we've got 67 turns. Then the diagram says 360 more. So we'll measure, so there's 360, and this one we're going to just do straight. Then we've got 22 turns. So we'll start again. Turn that down a bit. So there's two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I'll neaten it up in the end. Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We need to measure 820 more. So we will measure 820 millimeters. This one is three turns to three. So that's the antenna. We've got the winding at the top, the winding 360 down, and then the helical down to 820. So if this was going to be a permanent installation, I would solder this. But just for this exercise, I'm just going to crimp it. For the counterpoise, I'm just going to use this wire. That little sign over there is the earth sign. So the counterpoise will go on that side and the antenna will go on the other side. There we go. So for the exercise, I'm just going to cable tie this on. So that's going to be what we're going to do. I'm now going to connect it up outside. I'll take you with. I've got an ATU 100 and we're going to see where it will tune up. So the ATU 100 will generally tune SWR of 3 to 1 or less. So we'll go and go through each band and have a look. This is where I set up. So I've got this Terry clip and the poles just clip in. So that's the, the finished antenna. Okay, on 80 meters SWR 1.33. So we're on 60 meters. 1.08, 1.17. We're now on 30 meters. 1.15. Twenty meters, one point oh seven, two to one, two to one, twelve meters, two to one, ten meters, two point five five, six meters, one point two five. So now we're going to do the main test and go down to 160 meters and see what happens. Okay, 1.8 megs. Let's see what happens. One point one seven. But it does everything and it's the cost of the unknown. So this is really cheap, as I said earlier, ideal for a small garden, retirement village. It's a really easy way to, getting, to get on the air. So this has taken me from scratch until now has been about 45 minutes. Anyway, I hope this project inspires you and you see how easy it is. So uh, until the next video, cheers, 73s.